trespassers, how I deal with uninvited guests on properties that I've got. You know, today I just want to talk to you a little bit about securing my vacant properties and protecting against people that shouldn't be on the property, random strangers and, you know, things like that. So basically the nature of vacant land is that no one's there. No buildings are there, no business, no residences, anything like that. So nobody's there on a full-time basis. And, you know, really this is not always a problem for me, but I'm currently having issues with one of my properties here. This is a mobile home site that we're developing. And, it, you know, it had a mobile home on there previously. Maybe you've seen that video. And a hurricane destroyed the mobile home. And there's just all kinds of debris and trash and stuff out there on the property and there has been for a couple of years now and so people have just been trespassing and using it for various different things and then I come along and they're you know it's now my problem I've inherited the issue with the property so you know people just begin to to not respect the boundaries and to use it to throw trash they can go on the property and take things they can use the, the property for their own benefit and, you know, they could also say something like, you know, they got hurt on the property and come back and blame it on you. So, you know, this particular property, I've got people that want to hunt on that property. And it's a little piece of property, but there's quite a bit of wildlife because there's a, a big ranch, a big agricultural property behind it. And so they're wanting to, to use my property, which is kind of a gateway to that ranch to hunt, you know. And it's like, no, you can't do that. And I can see the trails back through there. And they're using it. There's a, it also sits between a highway and a residential neighborhood. So, you know, they're using it as a shortcut. Um, they're driving through there. They're walking through there. There's even a guy on a scooter that drives through there to go to the, to the bar, to the restaurant, you know, every day, you know, a couple, a couple times a day. So it's one of those issues where it's got to be dealt with, you know, so there's a couple ways, there's some tools and stuff that I can use and I am using to, to crack down, if, if you will, on, on the trespassing. And, you know, but really altogether, the main issue with the trespassing is that it can cause your property to lose value, can cause you to spend money to fix issues and to clean up the property and things that you may not have been planning on, on doing, you know, like, Hey, if I get this property cleaned up and people think it's a dump site and they come dump some more stuff on there, well, there you go. Now I've got a, a, an added expense. So, and it just really opens you up to all kinds of issues you don't want, you know, and you don't, you know, you don't want random people, you know, just common sense. You know I mean? You don't want random people walking around on your, on your property, you know, that you don't know that you don't know what they're doing, you know? So so some of the tools and stuff to, to stop that unauthorized use is really the main thing is just to keep it clean, you know, keep the grass cut, the trash down and out. And, you know, I hauled two dumpsters out of this particular property and keep on mowing it. You know, I've got, I've got it looking a lot better than it did when we first bought the property, but, you know, tall grass, dead trees, is basically just a, a, a billboard saying, Hey, the, the owner doesn't care. So do what you want, you know? But as soon as I started cleaning that property up, you know, the whole neighborhood noticed, you know, and I'm sure, you know, those people that are, that are trespassing and using their property for their own benefit, I'm sure they noticed as well. So, you know, then another issue is just the, the good old no trespass on, trespassing signs, you know, you could mount them on a tree or, you know, whatever, but it basically says, you know, that, you know, the owner doesn't want you here, you know, you don't know what's going on all the time on your properties. And, and that's just kind of like a constant reminder to anybody 24 seven on duty that look, the owner doesn't want you here. It's private property. Stay out, you know? So and then another good one kind of goes hand in hand with a no trespassing signs, but you know, barriers to entry, you know, it didn't have to be anything fancy, but you, know, you could use a rope fences, you know, which is a little bit more expensive. I've got a chain going across the driveway on this one, you know, so, but basically it just gives a visual boundary, you know, that says, hey, look, this is the property. And if you couple that with the signs, it basically shows physically that, hey, there's a barrier or a boundary around this property. And it says with the sign, you know, keep out, you know, so it sends a pretty clear visual message, you know, to anybody that, you know, has been, using that property that, hey, it's not going to fly anymore, 
or, you know, people that, you know, were thinking about it, you know, that, hey, look, this is private property. Okay, you know, go on about your way. Another one is a a game camera, you know, cameras. You could use any kind of camera, I guess, but a game camera has been pretty effective for me. You know, it runs off of batteries. It's there 24-7, motion activated. Picks up all kinds of activity, people, animals, progress on the project, you know, shows you what's happening when you're not there. And, you know, the nature of the activity and, you know, it's a deterrent to people that would see it, you know, that they shouldn't be there and that, you know, they're on camera and somebody's watching, you know. So, you know, all that coupled with, you know, keeping in communication with the neighbors and just letting them know that you own the property and that you're there, you know, you have the neighbors kind of keeping an eye on it for you. So it's a nice, nice thing just to, you know, communicate with folks around there if, if they see somebody and they know you, and they know that person's not you, well then, you know, they kind of know, hey, something's going on that shouldn't be going on, so, you know, you just want to keep people off the vacant property, and that's what I'm trying to do, to really protect them, and to, to protect myself, and, you know, in general, you know, I'm not an attorney, this isn't a legal video, or anything like that, or an expert, but I'm just a guy on YouTube, that thinks random people wandering around your property is not a good idea. You know, it might be a good idea to keep the property looking clean, have a few signs, and saying that you don't want people wandering around your property.